how the gadgets are actually moving um, and, and how this whole evolution has been. Um, we've seen the technologies move from 1G to 2G to 3G to 4G. And um, till 4G technology, it has been more of you know networks driving the requirement for devices. So whenever network got upgraded to 4G, the devices started flourishing into 4G. Uh, but the way things are going to go forward, uh, it's the device that's actually becoming more intelligent and driving the need for more network uh, capabilities and the more AI capabilities. So AI and 5G is going to be the future. And um, if you look at uh, what we have had as a groundbreaking technology, um, the Kirin 970, which actually came in, uh, was the world's first uh, silicon that actually had a brain on it. We call it the NPU, Neural Processing Unit. Five billion transistors in just one square centimeter. Now we've actually moved uh, from there to Kirin 980, and we're really proud about it. Uh, we have a dual NPU processing capability, uh, 6.9 billion transistors, and uh, the silicon has uh, become even more um, high-tech. It's the world's first 7 nanometer silicon. And uh, 7 nanometer silicon then opens a great new potential of uh, battery consumption being much more efficient. And uh, it's also the world's first chipset that uh, uses the A76 uh, Cortex uh, core. And the world's first chipset that uses the Mali uh, G76 GPU. Um, and it's the fastest available 4.5G uh, technology with um, um, uh, 1.4 gigahertz uh, gigabits per second. Uh, it's a Cat21 uh, technology. So that's the big news about 980. Because of the dual NPU, can now process videos in real time. The 970 was able to process images in real time. So that's the first case. Now the Emotion UI 9.0 enables autonomous vehicles to now recognize a pedestrian crossing or an animal crossing or whatever it is on real time. So that's the first biggest move. So what does this mean? Your smart devices, your M2M devices would be able to now make your gadget much smarter to move into um, you know, autonomous vehicles. Not just that, uh, we're talking about uh, dual ISPs helping camera performance to become 46% faster. We're talking about um, dual GPS solution for higher precision capability. So it opens a, a fresh new you know, uh, opportunity. We are hearing about uh, aeroplanes uh, now creating navigation system for landing, uh, not just about uh, you know, flying and what not. So the processing capability is the most important thing along with AI on the Emotion by 9.0 is going to unleash new potentials. Uh, so our phones are going to be powered, uh, high-end phones are going to be powered by this uh, technology. So that's why 980 is going to transform it. At this moment is 4.5G and obviously we would have the silicon available uh, with 5G and of course we lead 5G technology and what you see today is all about 5G and uh, AI. So obviously when the devices move towards 5G, we would be one of the first to adapt to 5G. silicons for smart devices which are with a shorter lifetime as you know people upgrade their phones right so uh, obviously we would announce our 5g solutions as well this uh, is not about the modem the modem is one part of the silicon this is about building the capability for AI and the future use cases so this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg and we are taking that early mover advantage to create that possibility Um, uh, localized and, and ensured about we, we definitely ensure about the the privacy the security of the consumer that's the most important fundamental thing now when we talk about NPU that addresses one of the biggest concerns because all your intelligence sits inside the device and not in the cloud which itself is an assurance of your security and safety sitting into the device itself mm -hmm.